Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Hennessy drinking video. So what I've got here is some Hennessy that I got from my little sister. And yeah, we're just gonna drink it. Um, I think my first or my only Hennessy video is actually the most popular one on this channel right now. And um, I kind of wanted to do another one. You know, I want to give it a second chance. I don't remember if I gave it a good review, but... Um, I don't know, I feel like I didn't, but we're going to give it a second chance, and this was free, which is pretty dope, so, you know, let's make a video, I mean, the shit's expensive, so, and I was given it, it was free, so, my older sister actually gave it to my younger sister, and, um, she didn't like it, so it's just been sitting in her cupboard, and I was like, yo, I'll take it, so, went over there and jacked it, we've got some Pepsi, and I know you guys are going to be like, what the fuck? We've got some Orange Crush. This is all they had in the vending machine downstairs. I was going to go to Walmart because I wanted to try it with Coca-Cola Cherry. I looked online, everybody said that was good. But I didn't end up going to Walmart. I just used the vending machine downstairs after I was done working out. And this is all they had. So I'm kind of curious to see if it's any good with the Orange Crush. is a smaller bottle than what I had um, because I think I got the quart and I think this is just like a Mickey freezer. 
upstairs frozen. Anyway, I don't know why she does it, but she does. Um, so my mom goes around to the kids' table because we had to separate the kids and the adults. You had to like sit at a different table anyway because the whole COVID thing, they like keep everything separate. So mom goes over there and starts picking through all the kids' food, taking a little bit off each plate. Nobody seemed to mind except for my, my niece, my youngest niece, uh, Clara. She, if you take food from her, she gives you the dirtiest look. It is so funny. Um, because I remember we went out for my older sister. I think it was my older sister's birthday. Or no, it was my mom's birthday. We went to Montana's and I took like a piece of beets off her plate and she just fucking like, eyed, like eyeballed me so hard. But I got a video of... My mom's stealing food off of her plate, and it's so funny. I'll probably put it on Instagram so you can go down to the comment section or go down to the description and have me on Instagram. I'm gonna put it on there. And she's just like eyeballing mom hard. It's so funny. So, yeah, after that, we go to um, my younger sister's place.
the taste too. Okay, that's better with Pepsi. to come out. 
out here and I took it and it changed my life and I just worked hard for five years. Well, sometimes, you know what you gotta do, you just gotta get rid of all the distractions. I, I knew I had to leave that city and I left. I mean, I like to fly back sometimes and go and party and act like I'm still a teenager, but the reality is I'm not. So I gotta start making rational. Like I used to do things instantly, not thinking about it, right? Not thinking about the uh, reper repercussions or whatever. But now I'm like overthinking, which I mean drives you crazy sometimes, but it, it, it keeps me out of trouble. chief like things in life man you gotta you gotta fucking gotta put in the work so it's hustle or starve man and guess what we ain't starving no more i'll drink to that shit Wednesday. I got Wednesday. 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, three more days of work, and then I got four days off, so pretty hyped. The weather's changing. It's like nice and cool out. Well, today was like, it was like hot, but it was like really windy, so it was like, it gives you that like, that fall feeling, which is what I, I love, man. I think I've said it a million times, but fall is my favorite season. nothing less manly about lo loving the color of leaves when they change in the fall. Don't judge me. I don't know. I like it. It's a good scenery. Cheers, motherfuckers. Man, lately I've been seeing like a lot of people driving around with Mustangs. I think it's because I've like, I love Mustangs, man. And, uh, once, like hopefully, I, like hopefully, fingers crossed, I can save up enough money for a down payment for a house. But once I have that all finished and done with, I want to get a Mustang. And uh, I love them, man. They're just good cars, good reliable cars. They've been around a long time, and they, the newer ones just look so good, right? And I like I like the look of the old ones too, but like the old old ones, not like the 2002, 2000, but. Uh, the newer ones look fucking dope, man. And I want to get one. So, it's like one of those things where you like think about it all the time. You're going to see it everywhere. Like, if you think about a yellow car, you're going to start seeing yellow cars everywhere. But, I don't know. Out here, like, out in Alberta, Edmonton area, uh, people have, like, really nice, expensive cars. You see them all the time back home. It's just fucking uh, teenagers with Honda Civics and people with trucks not even jacked up well some of them are jacked up but you don't see like great nice scares but when you see one it's like whoa what the fuck what the hell is this guy selling why does he have a car like that why does he have a car like that in this city it doesn't make any sense it's because i'm from like a small town but out here like it's normal man fucking I remember when I first moved out there, uh, I'd see them be like, yo, check out that car. But now it's like, you drive the highway and it's just like, yo, there goes another Ferrari. Yo, there goes another Lamborghini. It's, it's the normal. I think there was like a, a video or like it was on, it was on the news. It was this guy that lives in Edmonton driving around his Lamborghini in the uh, winter time. And like, that's not normal, but you don't see that, right? Because people like to, to take care of those cars and this guy's doing like donuts in, in the parking lot and shit like that. And the news crew got a hold of him. And they had like a video of him doing it. I mean, if you YouTube it, just type in like Lamborghini Edmonton, you'll see like, or like winter. I would type in winter Lamborghini Edmonton if you type that in. Um, it'll probably come up and like you'll see a news crew like filming him do like uh, donuts and stuff and I think what he said was like I worked so hard to get this car that I'm not just gonna waste it sitting in my garage he's like I'm gonna have fun with it he's like I'm gonna drive it so this dude's fucking drive around the winter time that's pretty dope I mean, the guy probably has, like, a bunch of money anyway. Like, he probably didn't just, like, save up all his pennies. And that's all he's got. And, like, he lives in a fucking trash can with Oscar the Grouch. And they fight over fucking cookies and shit. But, nah, oh, man. Nice car. They can do what he wants with it, right? Oh, man, that's good. You know what? Orange drink. Pepsi and Hennessy. That is the drink, man. I'm telling you. Mix it up. Mostly Pepsi, though. But you gotta put a little bit of splash that orange drink in it. Oh, that's perfect. I don't know if it's just because I'm drunk now, but just do it, okay? Just fucking do it. <laughs> just do it. No. I wasn't crying. You were crying.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.